Oh, no. So who knows about pacemakers and defibrillators? Anyone? Yeah. <laughs> That's why you're at How the front. How long ago, Alan? How long ago? Anyone have seen what a, what, um, so a pacemaker and the, the, the pacemakers and the defibrillators um, have the ability to record all the rhythms um, of the heart and um, normally on the top on the top you have the RA and on the bottom you have the RV RA and the RV so you're recording the channel of the right atria and this is what you see in this patient without you know without knowledge of what it normal looks like does this look normal to you mm -hmm. what does it look like if this were to be a rhythm would you say this is sinus rhythm atrial flutter or atrial fibrillation atrial fibrillation yes <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. Just like you said. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So why do I say this is a fib? Because you see how every signal, every electrical signal on the atria has a different voltage, has a different shape, it has different intervals, etc. 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 So this is definitely atrial fibrillation. So that is how we diagnose it when we look at devices. In this case, something that is not easy to see, you see these two letters here that correspond to this signal. Same thing with this one over here and this one over here, etc. And it says there's a B and a V. Anyone have any idea what that means? Biventricular, yeah. Mm -hmm. So off the bat, when you see this, you see a patient that is in AFib with a biventricular device. And biventricular devices could be what or what? They could be, yep, they could be pacers or they could be defibrillators. All right. So let's talk about a fib. What